Welcome back to the Ottomans Petri Dish in Civilization 5. And we've just discovered the Indians, and they're a bit too close for comfort. I'm sure all of you Civ 5 players will know that getting on Gandhi's bad side leads to a lot of radioactive fallout in the modern era. With his fondness for nukes. Mongolian great merchant. We have a settler and they're recommending. S That's a bit too close to Polynesia for my liking. I quite like this spot though. And so do they, event evidently. Go up that away. There's another city state there which can also. Get me that workshop and actually get a library. We want to get some extra science. Market. We're going to want. We can either get some wall workers or send one out to that new city. It's not much to build here though. Some farms maybe, so I can send these workers away once they're finished. Don't really need horses because I'm not plat. I, I very rarely, if ever, build mounted units. So for me, horses go obsolete very quickly. More plantations. More exploration. Yeah, we've got several triremes out. Searching, so we should uncover, you know, start uncovering the rest of the map at a good pace. Something in Polynesia, Siam, and India are in pretty close proximity to each other. Sorry, but no. Actually, they don't convert my lands anymore. So maybe, maybe they're actually getting some tensions with their neighbours and therefore have more pressing concerns than wanting stuff that I have. What's this? Ah. I'll be more than happy to do that. Next turn. They're always going to want protection against Mongolia because their trade improves their compatibility against city states, so therefore they're going to conquer city states. We're probably going to end up having problems with Mongolia eventually. They mistreated your protagonists and you didn't look the other way. So they hate me for that. You're in the wrong there buddy, you bullied someone I protected. Whoa. That went quick. Text key notification unmet lost capitat uh, thingy Bob. So who was that? I wonder. Come on, city states. Always taking longer. What do we want? I have so much happiness. I could always bring out another worker. I mean, another settler. I don't. I think actually going down here wouldn't be so bad. We set up a city here. It's pretty close to Washington. But we'll get all these resources, so I'm going to do that. Screw Washington if he doesn't like it. I got there first, so I'll take it.
I don't think I've ever expanded this much in a game before, at least early on. Most of my games, my expansion comes with conquest. We're also going to get physics in a turn so I can build Notre Dame in Istanbul for even more happiness. And our golden age will come quickly. Physics. Workers. Four turns until border growth, and they're gonna. Oh, I can't actually buy this. Go over there. For you guys, we don't really need the horses. So, head that away. It's for you. Workshop. Once we research it, we can build a. Um, we want this for education. We can build an ironworks in Istanbul. And they like this spot. We're going to go for it. Is anyone going to get annoyed with me? Screw them if they do. So they get nothing from the snow, but they do get food from the coast and the tundra. And production from the... Well, just gold from the copper. But they will get production from the mines. Roads? What? Oh, sorry, that was on the city. Maybe I can build ports in these places and then they'll connect to either of and then they'll, through that, they'll connect to the capital, which will start bringing in gold, which will hopefully offset the rather hefty maintenance costs for um, the ports. So we're going to settle a city down there. Nab these, th nab these resources, and build me Notre Dame. And I'm surprised no one's gone for the terracotta army yet. Hey, -o. City states always seem to be taking the longest. So how how many cities does India have? I can only see two, but they might have gone other places. It, it, it build a mine. Tire. More mines. Oh, we've got so many mines here. As soon as we start researching things such as chemistry. Oh, then the production will skyrocket. Although there is a bit of conflict between who wo who works what in these two cities, since all the mines are in the middle. So I want the mines. No, I want mines. I want the mines. You're not getting them. Hey my he doesn't have much money left. I... You know what? I accept. I'm gonna have some money and he's not gonna have much. Science researchers mutantly mutant 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 Another golden age. Adopt the policy. We want merchant navy. Definitely. Production in our coastal cities is going to get a very nice boost. And as soon as we get education, so will our science, because I'm going to crank out universities like it's next. Boo boo boo. I don't know what that meant. 
We're uncovering a good portion of the map now, thanks to our extra triremes. Say, just over a quarter. Oh no! See, listen, to this guy. Almost every single time I've met him, he's been he's been a problem. Just listen to this arrogance. Greetings, I am Pakaluti, the ruler of the Incans, the noblest, the strongest, and most beautiful people on the planet. I am always happy to meet pe palaxes of inferior Kajarichi. <sighs> Almost every game I've played with him, he's been a warmongering douche. Shinamari. Where is he? In finale. Oh, not you. Feeling sympathetic of Ilvein. No. So he's a fair distance away. Well, I... I... no. Well, he the Mon he's the Mongols are not a fair fair distance, but the Mongols are in the way. So he's going to have to go through them. Well, the, the straightest line to th something is from eight. Not a trading post. No, I want a mine. And not build barracks. We're going to end up getting a navy at some point, so we will want our ships to be as good as they can. Ooh! Now this is what I wanted. Now don't worry, I'm going to try to strike a deal with him. I give him something for him to declare war on Denmark. Aha! Wonderful. No! I don't trust you. Many years, it's been centuries. Come on, end this turn. I want to get Washington to go to war. They're interested in nabbing those whales, which I can get behind if we can get them. Yoink! <laughs> Next up, build a workboat and we'll get even more happiness. Where are they going to expand next? I'm going to focus on expanding on the coast. And it... That's because we can't work these hills. So, you know what? You guys can head down there. I want you to make a mine, not a trading post. Production! You can get walls, because if we do go to war, you'll probably be on the forefront, and... Now... No, not these. How are we doing in terms of Kula Lumpur? Still allied with them. They're cultured as well. We don't have enough money for a major gold gift. We're on fairly good terms with pretty much everyone except well, with pretty much everyone. He doesn't convert my lands. He's okay. He's okay. Just him that we've had problems with, but we're on good terms with everyone else. So Washington, I trust you are a friend to liberty. Yes, and I come with an offer. I'm listening. You don't like Denmark. Is the following trade of interest to you? Indeed it is. Except open borders. How about I keep the iron instead? Ah. Alright. Okay. I'm not really using the iron. Although I may I will actually need iron if I'm gonna be building frigates. I just remembered that. But I should get the iron back by the time that I get more frig. I unlock frigates. No. <laughs> so I wonder who lost their capital. Well, when I see it, I guess I'll maybe recognise the name. 
or maybe that they weren't actually completely eradicated yet and I'll still find them in their death throes. Who knows? Who wishes no one? Ah. Who did they settle in? Contra? I assume so. Ooh. So I do have a religion. You can actually get the Terracotta army. As for you... Granary. You, you have some sources of food, but not a lot. Actually, we need workboats. Damn it. Well, they're about to finish walls, so... Is the following trade of interest to you? Yeah. Denmark's probably not going to like me for it, though. But they're probably far away, so what are they going to do? They'd have to get through Washington and Mongolia to get to me. Unless they go all the... Uh-huh. Oh, oh, crap. Well then, I guess we're going to spy on... He's caught up quick. I guess we're going to spy on Genghis then. Now his capital is probably going to have some form of espionage defence. So... I'm actually going to spy there. It's for you. Get me some workboats. Exploring a good portion of this petri dish now. You want me to settle there? Sorry buddy, but I'll get some more luxury resources if I settle here. Get all that. Did our deal end with Sweden? I guess it did. Next turn. There's more production here than food. It's not gonna it's not gonna grow quick. Is Washington gonna be annoyed at us? He probably is. Probably will be. How's our espionage doing? Establish some surveillance and see if you can steal some tech. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm not going to purchase, I want another great profit. Now it's time we actually got some more farms up and then we'll work these silks. Get the copper for even more happiness. Maybe we'll be able to nab the citrus. It's a bit far away, but if I can purchase these tiles... One, two, three, four... Mm. I'm being a bit behind in science right now, which is rather unlike me. But as soon as we get education, I'm going to focus production on getting the rest of our city's libraries and then ploughing towards universities. With the jungles near us, there'll be a nice boost to science. And then we can start working ourselves up the tech Education tree. Is the, best the Great Barrier Reef. A work bow heads straight towards those whales. We can work fish, but... I want another work bow, but we also want a university. A harbour. We want a compass. Or compass. Is the following trade of interest to you? Where are you getting all this gold? You know what? I accept. I want to get some boost to our research. And he doesn't seem annoyed with us with settling near him. With which I am very glad. 
discovered about half the Petri dish now, or just under half, I think. No, I'd say just about half. Sweden seems to be near the very... I think I'd rather be in Siam's place, because they're at the very edge, and so I only have to... They are close to two other nations, but they only really have to worry about attacks from half the directions that I do. Come on, city-states, and... Aha! Rock up that happiness! <laughs>